Hi, I'm Leslie. Hi, and I'm Leandra, and we're Plan Disney panelists. Many guests often ask when the good time to bring their little ones to the park is, and being a mom that's been bringing their little ones since they were infants, my standard answer is always any age. However, there's nothing quite as magical as seeing Walt Disney World through the eyes of the preschooler. And today we're here to share some of our favorite attractions and activities for your preschoolers and your entire family to enjoy. Yes, absolutely. So let's start right here at Magic Kingdom Park. We're actually in Fantasyland Storybook Circus. This is the perfect place to start your day at Dumble the Flying Elephant because you get the perfect view of Cinderella Castle as you're flying with your little ones. And what I really like about that ride in particular is that the kids get to play in an indoor play area even before the ride starts. So that's just half the fun. It's a nice little break and a rest if you need it also. Exactly. And it's cool inside in the summer. But Perfect. Dumbo is definitely a classic not to be missed. The Magic Kingdom Park is our favorite because it has the most attractions across all six lands that has no height requirement. So what that means is any age you can ride, even your infants. So it's nice to be able to take the whole entire family on these attractions. My son and daughter's first attraction at Magic Kingdom Park was at Pirates of the Caribbean when they were just one month old. Oh, wow, I love that so much. So my boy's very first ride was the mini adventures of Winnie oh. the Pooh here at Magic Kingdom Park. And actually right across from there is the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train attraction, which my entire family loves because both of my boys are now tall enough to go on it. That's a big deal. Yes, it <laughs> is. And it's just a right amount of thrill for them to feel like they're doing like a big yeah, kid ride, right? And so the queue is really fun too because they can play with the gyms and the water activities. Oh, yes. It's so much fun. So Magic Kingdom Park is the quintessential park for families, That's but right. the fun does not stop there. It sure doesn't. Let's head over to Epcot where the Disney's DuckTales World Showcase Adventure is. And it's such a great family fun activity to do. And it's my, my son's favorite because he loves DuckTales, the animated series, uh, yes. especially Scrooge McDuck because he <laughs> swims in the, you know, his bank vault with all the money, you know, you know, boys, <laughs> right? <get> it. <laughs> um, so he has such a fun time going on the quest and all you need is a smartphone and the Play Disney Parks mobile app to play. Oh, I love that so much. And so another preschool favorite is definitely at Disney's Hollywood Studios. My boys absolutely love going on Mickey's and Minnie's Runway Railway. And then we'll head over to Toy Story Land and ride everything. So even when they were infants, I would strap them in on myself <laughs> in a baby carrier and ride Toy Story Mania. And then now that they're big enough, we love Slinky Dog Dash with its twists and turns. And it's just one of our family oh, favorites. Yes. And we cannot leave that park without visiting yeah. Slinky. My kids love Slinky yeah. Dog too. It's such a great for first sure. time uh, coaster for little kids yes. also. Um, but Hollywood Studios is, is truly a great park. Uh, we love the first time in forever Frozen sing-along. It's such a great show and interactive and it gets the kids all you know excited to see Elsa on the stage. And those Arendelle storytellers are hilarious. They are so funny. <laughs> yes, <laughs> absolutely. Let's not forget about Disney's Animal Kingdom theme park. We love starting our day at Kilimanjaro Safaris. The animals are super active in the morning. And the little thrill seeker Mouseketeers, they really may like the Cali River Rapids. Oh, yes. You may get wet. You may get very <laughs> soaked, actually. Or even fly on the back of a banshee at Flight of Passage oh, in the Pandora World oh, of Avatar. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. But I do recommend talking to your kiddos before you do that, just to see if they're comfortable with those oh, yeah. rides. Oh, yeah. yeah. And if you want something a little slower paced, we love riding the Wilderness Express train over to Rafiki's oh, Planet Watch. <laughs> My daughter absolutely loves all animals, so she loves to go over there and pet all the goats. Um, that's a, a thrill for her. <laughs> Going over to the affection section. Um, if you're looking for something else to do, you can also go to the Con Conservation Center and learn how they take care of the animals at Animal Kingdom. Um, but also you can learn to draw a familiar character at the um, animation experience. Yeah, absolutely. And by the way, Rider Switch Service is a great option if your preschooler isn't tall enough, or maybe they have a younger sibling, or maybe they just feel uneasy about going on a ride. That way the adults don't have to miss out on the thrills and the little ones don't have to be alone. Oh yeah, it's a great service. Yeah, yeah, it, it is the way we do Disney. for families with little kids, yeah. right? The attractions are definitely a highlight, but little ones will also enjoy the shows at Disney World. So storytelling is what Disney is famous for. So we like to see the Festival of the Lion King and also Finding Nemo, the Big Blue and Beyond. Disney's Animal Kingdom has just so many fun things to do and my kids are always singing along by the end oh, of the show. Yeah. <laughs> it's a big blue world. Speaking of a big blue world, we love to go to the Disney World water parks. They're a huge hit in my family, especially in the summertime to cool off and splash around. 
but each of the water parks has a designated area just for little ones that has a shallow water, they have sprayers, and even slides that you can race mom and dad to the bottom. Oh, I love that so much. And I'm super competitive, so that sounds like it's right, right up, up my your alley. alley. <laughs> yeah, for sure. We could probably go on and on for days about all the things to do with little ones here at Walt Disney World Resort, but we're just gonna say, go to plandisney.com and ask us some questions there, and be sure to follow us on Instagram at plandisneypanel. Thank <laughs> you.